Well, let's come over. Let's look at the cloud CMA. And for the cloud CMA, I'm just going to go ahead and utilize those same properties I utilized for my subject, uh, for my uh, CMAs, be it for my quick CMA or my module CMA. And yes, we do have cloud CMA buttons out here on the toolbar. And if you hovered over the CMA button, you, again, you would see cloud CMA. But my recommendation for you to make this quick and easy is to come over to Actions and come down and choose Cloud CMA. Now, to go ahead and show you the other details here, let me go over and assume an identity of Lauren. That way I can go in and uh, show you how this would work. There we go. I'm going to assume the identity. Now, as I assume this identity, obviously I'm going to lose those properties I had selected as a part of my search. So what I want to do is I want to come over to search. I'm going to bring up a residential search. Again, as you're doing the, uh, the cloud CMA, it starts with you're doing a property search. Now, I happen to have loaded um, a search that I want to work with. There we go. So this was a search that I did just before our webinar started. This has in the details that I want to have for my uh, comparable properties. I'm going to go ahead and click on search. And this then brings me over to my list of comparable properties. I'm going to go ahead and just select all of the properties. Please note that I would walk through here and vet these properties just like we did on the other two, uh, the two other styles of CMA. If there's a particular property or properties you don't want, just simply uncheck the box. And then I would go ahead and click on check. That way I'm only seeing just those properties I want to use as my comparable properties. And now I'm going to come over to Actions. And like we talked about before, I'm going to come down to CMA. If you remember inside the Cloud CMA tool, there are four different items. There's the Cloud CMA itself, there's a buyer's tour, there's a property flyer, and there's also a property report. Now, regardless of how you get there, if I would have clicked on the CMA button out here, I could get out to Cloud CMA, I could choose CMA, but I would not be able to bring over my comparable properties. But by hovering over Actions and coming down to Cloud CMA, those comparable properties are then brought over. Now, as you go into Cloud CMA for the very first time, you're going to need to validate who you are to Cloud and our WR Studios. And so you're going to put in and confirm your first name, your last name, your email address, and other things. Down at the bottom, it's going to ask for a BRE number. You can just ignore it, submit it. You're going to send in your credentials to Cloud CMA, and that then provides a link, a connection that will be there for you going forward. You'll never have to validate your credentials again. That will give you seamless access directly into Cloud CMA for each of the different items. Again, as you look at this button across the top, notice it says Home. I'm on the CMA module itself. I could go out and do a buyer's tour, create a property report, or do a flyer. Now, as you're working inside the Cloud CMA, again, I mentioned to you that this is optimized for uh, a tablet. In fact, if you wanted to, you could even do other things as far as creating CMAs very quickly and easily, kind of out of the scope of this class. But as you're working inside this, the best way to work is top to bottom or left to right, top to bottom. So here in the upper left hand corner, I need to give this a name. So let me just go ahead and call this Bob Jones. And if I want, I could put in some private notes here. This would only be available to me. This would give me some insight when I'm looking at all my CMAs down the road. This allows me to come in and remember certain details about this. Now, because we are coming in, we want to put in an address for our subject property. So let me just go ahead and put in that address that we've been using. Uh, let me put in here. To know if we've been able to go out and identify that particular property. I could go out and add a picture for this if I wanted. I get to choose what kind of property this is. And then I can put in some additional details. Maybe this is 2,000 square feet. We've got four bedrooms and three baths. Let's say, again, I can put in whatever details I want. And as I scroll down the page, all those properties that I had selected back inside Paragon, those ML numbers are right here. Now, you could have, if you wanted, just caught, uh, typed in the ML numbers you want, but by working from the results page inside Paragon, those ML numbers have been actually dropped in ready for me to use. 
Now, if I wanted to do a quick CMA, and let's say I didn't have time to actually work inside Paragon, I could put in the address, put in some basic details, and from that address, Paragon would then automatically find listings near that subject property. I could say at least 10 or 20 or 30 or 40, whatever I wanted as a minimum. I can even say how far back I want to go for my comps. But because I brought in my specific comps, I don't have to do that. They've already been selected. I did my vetting of these properties before. As we come down to the bottom, I can click on Fetch Listings, which means go out and find these properties and create the CMA. I could also click on Fetch Listings here at the top. As I come on down, let me click on Fetch Listings, and those listings are being gathered. Notice we've got this little wheel spinning around saying listings are being gathered. And so what's happening is Cloud CMA is actually going into the Paragon database and finding details about every one of those properties that we had selected and brought forward. Now with that in place, you can see that the screen is refreshing. We're going to have that CMA report uh, generated for us. I think you're going to find that inside Cloud CMA, they use the word report a lot, a CMA report, a buyer's tour report, or a property report, or a flyer Again, they use that for uh, a lot. Now, with that having been uh, created, we can now, first thing, we look at the map. Here's a map. shows where all those different properties are at. As we move on down, notice that I have the ability to further vet these properties. So, again, I could come right on through, looking at each of these different properties. If there's anyone that is outside the requirements, like this $1 million home, I could uncheck the box. So it's now been removed from my list of comparable properties. On a property-by-property -property basis, I can click where it says Details and Adjustments. So by clicking on Details, I now have other details. I can look at all the pictures. I can see the remarks, the features, and amenities. And if I want to make adjustments, I can do it here, just like I showed you inside the Paragon module. If I wanted to make adjustments, I can give it a name, like I did a manual adjustment, put in the value, and then click on Add. I can do that on a property-by-property -property basis. So once I get down to the bottom, if I like the comparable properties I've got, I can click on Customize the Reports. As I'm looking at this, look at the summary here on the side. Notice I have six active, three expired, four sold, and two canceled. By clicking on Customize Reports, I now have the ability to come in and customize these reports. And notice that I have a different kind of a cursor here. I can, if I want, move reports up and down and place them in whatever presentation order I'd like to have them in. And on some of these, like the cover letter, company information, agent information, notice that it's editable. So I can, if I want, go ahead and click on company information and go out and look at the editing of it. And I can then come through and make whatever adjustments or changes. So there's going to be some basic setup you're going to want to do as you come into Cloud CMA the very first time. You're going to want to put in your agent information, your office information, and other details like that. That way these reports are here. So on the front end, just like running the CMA Preference Wizard and Paragon, on the front end there's going to be a little bit of work for you. But as you can see, once it's there, it's there. You also have the ability to come through and create additional pages. So again, you could put in agent resume, client testimonials, letter to the seller. Again, these are different items that you can then create pages for. If you want, you can rename the page, or if you put in something you don't like, you can delete it. Just like you have in Paragon, you can choose your font size. You can choose your font color. Again, come through and make any adjustments you want with this to help you come through and do what you want. Also notice that we have a pasting tool from Word. So if you wanted to compose these documents in Word, you can then copy and paste it in using this paste tool to help you with it. With your working on that particular item done, go ahead and click on Save. It's now been updated, and you can continue working on through your different details. So let me come back over to Page Contents. I can continue working through creating my different documents and details. So as I'm back over here, here's my MLS, here's my page contents. I can continue working through, looking at all the different items that I wanted to be working with. Let me come back over to my CMA. Here's where I have my Bob Jones CMA at. Let me just come back in to edit it some more. So I'm out over here. I'm going to come over to my customizing. 
because I have criteria, I have my different comparable properties. As I'm here on customizing, I can come back through, looking at each of the different documents. If I want to put in listing detail sections, this is what you're going to be creating for each of your different uh, properties, details, photos, more photos, and adjustments. As you continue on down from there, you've got other details coming through that you can have. And once you've done all the different adjustments, notice there's a marketing plan you can adjust. You can then click on Publish. As you click on the Publish button, we come back over to where we have all of our different CMAs at. So notice you can always come back, pull up a different CMA, review it, maybe resend it to your client. But notice how it is now turning and it's publishing it. Once it's published, if you want, you can come back and edit it. Notice it gives you a date and time stamp as to when this was actually created. Once it's all done, you're going to have a check mark like this off to the side. That means that CMA is then completed. You then have several different options. I can view the presentation. I can go ahead and present it. So I could, while I'm out in my client's house, I could go ahead, pull up my uh, cloud CMA, and I can make the presentation if I wanted. I, after I'm done with the presentation, I can email it to them, or I can then go ahead and share it with them. Then once I'm done, I can either come back and edit it some more if I need to, or if I want to, I can just go ahead and delete it. As I was looking at some of the videos available to you, as you learn how to use the Cloud CMA tool, they had lots and lots and lots of CMAs out there available to you. Again, this is emailable, and it's ideal for using with tablets that you can email out to your clients. Let me just come on in, and I'm going to use the one that says Shannon on it because this is still generating here for me. I'm going to click on View, and here we go. So you can see how quick that went to go ahead and load that CMA. So if I come over here, I can now scroll on down through this report. And there I have my details for this. Again, you can then scroll right on through, looking at all the details, all the different items you've got associated with your CMA, and make your presentation. Again, it displays very nicely on your tablet. So again, another option for you to utilize. As you're working with this, in fact, I was working with someone, a broker in an office, and he was brand new using Cloud CMA. And this was just a couple of weeks ago. And as we got to talking about CMAs and they all, he stopped the presentation, my, my discussion with the agents in his office, and he said, let me tell you about Cloud CMA. It's great. It's quick. He says, I can do a Cloud CMA, and he had done a couple already, in 15 minutes. 15, 20 minutes is what he gave his agents. And he says, it's content rich, lots of great information, a lot of good things that you'll want to share with your client. Again, here's different maps showing where the properties are located at. There's where you have your list of comparable properties. Again, a lot of different information here, and he really liked it. This was a great win for him and his office because they like doing CMAs, and this was a way that could be done and generated in about 15 to 20 minutes. So again, another great tool. I recommend you go out and give it a try. Take a look at it and see if this will work for you. Again, it may take you a little bit longer initially to do because you've got to put in your resume. You've got to put in your letters and your office information. But once that's built, very quick, do a search in Paragon, find your comparables, select them, then use the Actions button. Let me get back over into Paragon. Once you've selected your properties, come over to Actions and choose Cloud CMA. That way, all of your comparable properties are brought in automatically for you.